What is going on guys? Brian here and today is Friday, my favorite day of the week as I'm sure it is a lot of you guys. Um, I don't work over the weekend, I don't have schoolwork over the weekend so that's always my favorite day is Friday night. And um, yeah, so let's kick off this video today. I have so much stuff to talk about, uh, video game wise and next gen consoles and things like that. Uh, as you guys know, the PS4 and the Xbox One came out in late and mid-November this year. And um, everybody's excited about it. I haven't personally gotten a next-gen console yet. I'm planning on doing so uh, somewhere between uh, probably February and uh, May of this uh, of 2014. Um, I'll probably have one by the, uh, by the time Titan Falls comes out, so you guys don't have to worry about that. I will definitely have a next-gen console, and it will probably be my first one will be the Xbox One just to play Titan Falls. Um, I don't really have a preference on which console. The main thing that is making me choose the Xbox One is strictly just the uh, the games like the like Titan Falls. So, but anyways, I want to talk about Ubisoft, which is a well-known brand. Uh, they make games out of France, um, Canada, America. They have a bunch of uh, Ubisoft uh, headquarters and, and businesses and places like that all over the world. And uh, Canada made some uh, some games for Ubisoft. Um, they, they work for Ubisoft, obviously. I'm getting really confusing here. But um, anyways, so Ubisoft has made games like Rainbow Six, uh, Vegas 1 and 2, Rainbow Six uh, 1, 2, and 3. Um, they've made games like Ghost Recon 1 and 2, uh, Ghost Recon Future Soldier, um, and they've also made the Splinter Cell um, series as well. And as we know, these, these games have been around since the original Xbox, uh, since I think the first title was in 99, 1999 on PC. I think it was Rainbow Six, uh, just the first one. I think it was 98 or 99. So around the same time as CSGO, and if you guys don't know what Counter-Strike is, um, yeah, I, I don't know what you're doing with your life. It's probably the first person shooter to ever be developed. But anyways, uh, the reason I'm talking about this is that uh, this game, Rainbow Six Patriots, which is uh, would be a part of the series of the Rainbow Six uh, 1, 2, and 3, and Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and 2, it would be a new installment to the series. And uh, Ubisoft has been talking about developing it for the past two and a half, three years now, and they said they'd have it released, uh, released uh, March uh, 20th of 2013, and uh, obviously that didn't happen. They said they would release it on the 360. Uh, that didn't happen. Now they're saying if and when um, it gets released. So they they basically started the whole program and making the game, and then they completely boshed it, and they. They stopped developing and, and restarted because they didn't like the way the game was going. So then they restarted on making it and now everybody's like, oh, I don't know if we're going to make it or not. Personally, this is big news to me because the Rainbow Six games uh, basically paved way for Call of Duty, just like Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike and Rainbow Six were really the first person shooter games uh, before Halo or before Call of Duty. So they're basically the first generation first person shooter games and that's why it's big news in my opinion. Um, I would love personally to see a Rainbow Six Patriots game, uh, but I just I don't know if it's going to happen. Hopefully it will. But something coming out of Ubisoft that I'm really excited for is um, The Division. Now this is like if you guys have ever played Borderlands 1 or 2, um, it's it's very similar of an idea. And right there I picked up the Chem Strike. I forgot to tell you guys this is a Chem Strike video, but you probably saw in the title. Um, anyways, so... The new game, The Division, that will be coming out in the fourth quarter of 2014, so that means anywhere from August to December of 2014, so about a year from now, um, but it's an MMO shooter, so it's in third person like most uh, Ubisoft games. It's in third person, and it's a free living world, so there's campaign, and there's also multiplayer, and it's just in a living world, and it really is amazing, guys, but um, I'm looking forward to that game the most. Uh, hopefully, you guys are excited for it, too. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to smack that like button in the face. I know we're staring at a black screen together here, and uh, subscribe if you enjoyed.